Hey guys, I wanted to shoot a little screen capture video of an older video that I uploaded. Ethanol does not eat or varnish fuel line soak test. It's 40 minutes. It's a little long and uh, I wanted to retouch on some pictures that came from that test. I just purchased a headset so hopefully you can hear me nice and clear and I'll use this in my future screen capture videos. But anyways, I put three fuels to test in this 40 minute video. And I just like to show some of these pictures from the test. These are fuels that sat for 50 days. This is E0 non-ethanol, E10 regular 87, and this is E85 here on the right. These are the fuel lines that came out of those jars. This left, far left one here never had any fuel on it. This really brown one here was E0 non-ethanol. This next one here was E10 87 regular gasoline. 10% ethanol and the last one on the right was E85 looks just as clean as the no fuel one I also put them to the strength test I put uh, two other f fuel lines that I had in the jar to the test they didn't have the coloration comparison like those but I put uh, the left here had no no fuel ever soaked and then you can get a straight up here of E0, E10, E85. And you can see that E0 damaged the fuel line on all three. And E85 did not damage the fuel line on any of them. Here's some more pictures to show how the weights are set. A picture says a thousand words. Uh, a lot of people right here they would see that damage and blame it on the ethanol if people have damage with these error I'm sure they're just gonna keep their mouth shut and not say anything about it but it's kinda funny that something that's eight and a half times more didn't damage it at all when this one here would of course be blamed on ethanol so there's a lot a lot more to the puzzle than big oil and additive companies want you to think so uh, feel free to contact me uh, I run a Facebook page called Midwest Ethanol Outpost. Subscribe to this channel and check that page out. Thanks for watching.